pants. For me, it's even worse when short men decide to drop their pants. Because it's like, you're short. Your pants are already close to the ground. Why do you need to do more? Like everything is new. The sun bursts flowers. Calling on warm days over to you. But I... Hey there, potato heads. My name is Gura, but you can call me Potato Mommy and welcome back or welcome to Potato Nation. I make entertainment, lifestyle, and beauty related YouTube content. So, so subscribe, okay? Today we are going to be talking about things guys wear that girls cannot stand. So, if you're a guy and you've been wondering, why am I single? Why am I not laughed? Why am I not at least somebody's baby daddy? Why am I not on somebody's smash list? Why am I not somebody's side piece? Something. You might just want to watch. Maybe one of these reasons is the reason why you are as you are. So let's get into the video. So all the comments I'm bringing up are from a question sticker I put up on my Instagram yesterday. So some of the things are actually things I like when guys wear. But since, you know, I'm doing it for the people, I'm going to have to play devil's advocate. <laughs> So it is what it is. Anyway, <laughs> the very first one is something that I personally cannot stand. I hate to see it. I don't need to see it. Nobody needs to see it. That is when men drop their pants. So somebody said, I don't get why we have to see your nasty boxes. Somebody else said, their pants ride so low, like a crotch around their knees. And then someone else said, I hate when they drop their pants or wear a belt to drop their pants. Oh my word. It's so annoying because it's like, you decide could you, you want to drop your pants. Okay. So now your waistline is halfway down your bum. Cool. And then you decide to put a belt on so that they don't slide any. Like. Mets. Mats. For me, it's even worse when short men decide to drop their pants. Because it's like, you're short. Your pants are already close to the ground. Why do you need to do more? <sighs> Someone said, drop pants. And I want my name to be mentioned so they know. <laughs> so men, if you ever would think to shoot your shots at Vongai, aka Z Daisy, who by the way also has a YouTube channel. I will link it down below. Baby, shameless plug. <laughs> if you ever think to slide into a DMs, make sure you don't own a pair of drop pants. And if you do, burn them. My personal issue with drop pants is like the men who wear them don't even need the extra, you know, wiggle room that comes with normal joggers. So why are you doing more? We know you don't have a package that requires that much breathing room. So why are you doing more? Someone said, I hate shiny clothes. And then someone said, when they wear gold chains. And then someone else said, watch the diamond. You men walk around like, oh no, no, I started wearing specs because you know, like in high school, I used to study so much that physics, that physics was so difficult, man. And that math, that math was the worst. And I used to study like, all night like for my A's and everything and I just was so focused I was so focused so I had to start wearing these specs you know because I was always up reading no you think we don't know that the real reason why you started wearing specs is because you went from the time you started form one up until final year of uni reading the time off of whatever you thought this reflective material was that you tried to fool us was silver <laughs> and now you're having eye issues that you want to tell us is because oh no, no 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 it's because you're walking around reading your time off of aluminium foil the next one says, Manza in a sharp cut. And then they apply this really harsh polish looking stuff. We are not fools. I just need all men to gather around here. Just, just, just hear me out. Just hear me out. Okay. You, in all your grownness, in all your adulthood, hmm? every morning, I'm going to a paycheck at the end of every month of But you wake up every morning and put this. You wake up every morning and put this on your head. Pafonge. This one. 
nugget black. Then the next one says, <laughs> the next one says, Zimajini zinemitete ye red kusaiti. Ameno wano zitana miko. Those jeans with the red stripe by the side. You know what? Just talking about stripes in general. There's also that one little Gucci ribbon. Don't think we forgot. Don't think we forgot. Somebody went and mass produced that Gucci ribbon. And now Chancha is everywhere. Don't think we forgot. Those things remind me of, you know, like our school tracksuits. <laughs> I don't know if this is an international thing, but same school tracksuits, they always have that report by the side. And it's like... Every time I see someone with my jeans and I can't report by the side, that's what I think of. Immediately. That's what I think. The next one says, porn shorts. Oh my word. Calling every single private school boy in Zimbabwe. Hello. Past and present. Please. Those things are not cute. Stop it. Stop it. The next one says flat face. Oh. Wait, which which nation knows the flat face? Like I really thought those things were discontinued. Like ah, <laughs> guys, <laughs> being a teenager was fun. My pause. Hmm? We were like cheesy and so on. The next one says. A full tracksuit in the club. Chico, <laughs> church. You think if you roll like that, you one day wake up like Jenny? Stop it. You won't. You won't. The next one says socks and slides. And then someone else said socks and socks and slides on the first date. All I'm going to say is. If you're going to wear socks and slides, please wear black or brown socks. Because we already know what I'm watching. But just like hide it. Simple. <laughs> the next one says, a durag in public. Miss me with that. And then someone said, durags are not for all head shapes. Then someone said, kabeg kipa shoulder or lumbo. Number one sign, yemu kuma na kufa basi na mare. Chete chete. That's all I'm going to say. Number one sign, yemu kuma na kufa basi na mare. It's a badge. Into figure what about? Hmm? Uti muzvo wale. Please don't try me. I'm broke. Just before this video ends, I do just want to say shout out to the Potato Nation because you guys are just as wacky and crack headed as I am, which is it's amazing. <laughs> Potato energy is unmatched. Shout out to all of you guys. Anyway, guys, for me, Potato Mommy, that is it. I am sending you guys love and light. Bye.